This is the first of a two-part video on the Core Capture subscription that is included in the free trial. In the first video, we will explore the Core Capture application, and in the second video, we will look at the Core Capture designer. After signing up for the free trial and creating your first app through the Admin Center, head to your tenant and take a look at the application subscriptions. You will find a Core Capture subscription auto-generated for you. Click on the subscription to view the details. Near the top, you will see a link called Link to App. This is the link to the Core Capture web application. You can bookmark this link for easy access in the future. When you click on this link, it will first ask you to enter the tenant ID and on the following screen, your tenant username and password. Upon successful login, you will enter the Core Capture application. By default, you will see three capture profiles. Let's try using the capture profile called Sample Information Extraction Demo. You will first be prompted to upload a file. Use the Browse for Files option to pick a file from your local drive. For this demo, I will select an image of an invoice. The capture service will first assess the number of documents and pages that were uploaded and try to classify them. It will then provide a summary of the initial assessment. Click on Organize to further organize and classify the documents. If the capture service is unable to classify any of the documents, you will have the option to do so manually. From the drop-down list, I will select IE Invoice since I have uploaded an invoice. Selecting the right classification also trains the capture service to correctly recognize this document in the future. Click Next to continue. You will be prompted to process the documents again based on the selected classification. Once a document is processed, select Review Documents to look at the information that was extracted by the capture service. On the next screen, you will be able to see the information that was extracted from the document and entered in the appropriate fields defined for this type of document. When you select any of the data fields on the right, it will highlight the data in the document on the left. This allows you to verify that all the data has been correctly captured. If you need to change any of the extracted data, select the data field on the right and then select the data in the document on the left that corresponds to the field. Doing so also trains the capture service to pull the data from the new location next time. If the document has any tables, you will be able to see the information pulled from the table by selecting the table field on the right. Similar to the individual data fields, you will be able to select each of the fields in the table to verify its source as well as change the source of the data if necessary. After you've verified and corrected the data extraction, click on Next to view the summary. On the following screen, click Submit. This will generate an XML file containing all the data that was extracted from the uploaded document. Next, click on Download to download the original file and the XML. Once the download is complete, you can click on Done to return to the main screen. Your trial license also allows you to define your own document types and upload them to the capture service. To do that, you will need the Core Capture Designer. You will find the option to download the Core Capture Designer by selecting the gear icon in the top right corner of the page. In the second segment of this video, we will show you how to use the Core Capture Designer to create a new document type for the capture service. Thank you for watching this video.